everybody, Howard Partridge coming to you, and I'm with Rudy, the real guy from the movie Rudy that you yes. probably <laughs> heard about. Rudy, how you doing? Oh, Howard's great, and uh, can't wait to get involved with what you're about. Awesome, man. Yeah. So uh, Rudy's going to be with us at the phenomenal mega conference that happens in Dallas, uh, October 24 through 26. And this is going to be part of, this conference is going to be honoring the life and legacy of my hero, Zig Ziglar. And uh, we're going to be doing a special Zig Ziglar legacy series that you'll be a part of. Correct. So Tom Ziglar is going to be interviewing you, and you're going to talk to us about dreams and goals and getting clarity. So let's talk a little bit about what you're going to uh, share with the audience. You know, I'm excited, Howard, to talk about dreams, because a lot of people think dreams are fantasy. What you're not, God has put an important feeling in your heart, mm -hmm. and that's the dream. You yeah. know, that's the dream we talk about. We all want to be somebody. We all want to do something. We all want to have a little bit of a legacy or a big legacy. Uh, and, and I think, really, if we don't go after our dream, we're not really accomplishing our legacy. That's the key. And that means you're going to go to some, through some struggle. Yeah. And struggle is what builds character, and, give, and you're going to have the courage to get through it. And we're going to inspire that. We're going to inspire you to get rid of some thoughts that are there you know, putting you back to where you shouldn't be, but let's put you up where you should be. Right. So we're going to get rid of those thoughts and have you think real clear on those thoughts. Beautiful. You know, what Zig calls that is stinking thinking. You right. need to check up from the back. <laughs> right. right. So. Well, that, that's funny you said that because I heard Zig, Zig speak. My first seminar I ever went to was with Zig. Okay. I, I never forget. I t about, told me the story about his pots and pants. Yeah. And I just connected. I said, wow. That's awesome. But anyhow, make a long story short, that's how simple it could get. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And you told me earlier, and by the way, we're in Las Vegas. Rudy lives here in Las Vegas. I'm out here doing some speaking. And, and uh, the first time I met you was in a hotel room in Correct. Las Vegas, and we started fleshing some things out. Ended up doing our, an audio program together at the Zig Ziglar uh, Studios, which you'll hear about later. But um, you told me earlier today that uh, you uh, saw Zig there were like 25 people in the room. You paid like 25 <laughs> bucks to go, right? right? It was funny. Now, this is the dynamics of this. When I saw Zick think, he helped me get rid of my stinking think. I call yeah. it goofy thoughts. Yeah, goofy right? thoughts. Okay. From that point on, I, I kept reinventing myself, if that makes sense. Yeah. You know, you, a lot of us live in the past. We don't need to live in the past. We learn from yeah. the past. So let's live in the present. And that's what he kept hit me on. Rudy, you got to live in the present. You got to live in the present. Do what you can do now. And that made a lot of sense to me. Because a lot of us look in the future and say, well, I can't do that. Well, no, I, won't, I wouldn't do it if I knew what I had to go through. Right. But when you can live in the present, you take each day one one minute at a time, one second at a time, and you get through it, you get the confidence, and the bigger things add up. That's what I was taught. That's what you're going to learn from here as well. But here's the dynamics of Zig. I saw him in a in, in that little room mm. with 25 people, I said, someday I, I like to really be part of him. Huh. He's really awesome. Because he told me the story about pots and pants, how he sold pots and pants. And I was selling insurance at the time. Yeah. I kept getting a lot of rejection. I just connected to that. In 1997, I get a phone call from Peter Lowell Seminars. And we're going to do a big seminar series, big, what they say, tour around the country with Zig Ziglar. Colin Powell, Joe Montana, President Bush, Barbara Bush. I said, wow, I get to meet Zig years later. I'll never forget walking in the room, and he spread his arms out. I said, Rudy Rudiger, the red hat, and I <laughs> loved your movie. Well, when I was going through the insurance deal, and uh, I was getting a lot of those rejections, I bought his tapes. And I would listen to him and listen to him. And yeah, I said, you know what, Zig? I don't think you know what I'm going through. So I threw his tapes out the window and ran them over. <laughs> That's kind of like how uh, uh, Zig and I, and when, he, when, he, when I saw him that moment, I said, boy, Zig, if you already knew what I did to you, you would have <laughs> those arms spread out. But, boy, isn't it wonderful celebrating his legacy? Yeah. That's what we're and, talking about. And uh, last time we uh, did the uh, audio together, you told me that you went out and tried it one more time, but yeah. Zig told yeah. you to do it, and it oh, actually worked. No, He's no, like, no. why did I run over that tape? <laughs> well, not only did it work, I got one of the biggest sales. Biggest sale you ever. company, yeah. 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 So that said, wow, it works. Okay. So. Well, listen, we're really looking forward to having you. Thank you. Um, in Dallas, the phenomenal mega conference uh, is all about uh, taking you to the next level. 
you know, Rudy has uh, reached some big dreams, want to play football for Notre Dame. He reached that dream, uh, even though you're, you know, too small, you know, maybe not smart enough at the time. And, uh, then, well, that was <laughs> your word. Right? Let me clarify that. Right, no, let me clarify something very important. Okay. Folks, you're hitting some real good points here. Okay. This is why you should be here, to listen to what you're about listening, to say. Yes. Number one, you say, I'm not too smart. Number two, you said I was too small. Number three, I wanted to play football. I wanted to be part of something mm, great. That's good. That's, that's the key, good. guys, and that's, that's where you can get your success. Yes, yes. That's awesome. So if you've got some big dreams, and I know you do, in fact, the Rudy uh, story uh, is in the top five uh, movies of all time. Top, top five sports movies of all time, and the top 40 of all movies ever made. Correct. So this is your chance to meet an icon, uh, dream bigger, you know, you have your dream, uh, we'll be helping you take your business to the next level, and Rudy and I uh, look forward to seeing you in Dallas, the Phenomenal Mega Conference, October 24th through 26th. We'll see you there. And our passion is your phenomenal success. Oh, I love the fact that you can say phenomenal. I have a hard time <laughs> saying that, but I know what it means. All right. Take care, everybody. God bless you.